Hello, everybody. We are very happy uh, to see all of you. So good evening to many of you and those who are joining us on Facebook. Welcome to the EDB uh, Thursday webinar series. So uh, we are happy to see all of you. Uh, and today we are uh, having a very wonderful speaker, uh, Marhavo Kolmurodova, who is representing uh, UCA. And today she will be telling about project work in ALT. So just to remind you, our dear uh, followers, uh, please put your questions in the chat box, uh, because after the presentation of Marhavo, we'll be uh, having an opportunity to address your questions to our speaker, and then she will be able to respond it. And uh, to give a small, uh, just a brief introduction about Marhavo, I would like just to give some highlights about uh, Marhavo. Marhavo Kumrodbe has a BA in linguistics, uh, English and French languages from Coral State University, Tajikistan, and has obtained a certificate of education from the Aga Khan University, Karachi, Pakistan. In 2018, she got a scholarship from the United States Department of State Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs to participate in Fulbright Teaching Excellence and Achievement Program, a two-month fellowship at the University of Claremont, South California, USA. Currently, she is working with the School of Professional and Continuing Education and the University of Central Asia as an English language instructor and a teacher trainer. And she's involved in all the projects implemented by English Department of STCE. Moreover, she has participated in a number of conferences. She won a scholarship to be a presenter in the Conference in 2013 and made a presentation on critical thinking in English language learning and teaching. In addition, Marhabo is an English language coordinator of the Association of Teachers of uh, Bao. So welcome, Marhabo. Now the floor is yours. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, it was nice to see you, Nasiba. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, today are... Uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, just a second. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about um, project. I'm going to talk about project work in ELT, uh, and uh, I hope uh, you will find it uh, useful. And I hope uh, you will also use it in your teaching. Um, so. Um, the very first uh, thing um, I want you to look at is a question. Before I uh, start, before I start uh, talking about uh, some of the well, uh, in in this um, webinar, um, let me tell you uh, what uh, what my aim is. So, um, project work. Uh, you probably know uh, that project work is uh, not a new methodology. Uh, many teachers, um, well, its, it's uh, benefits have been widely recognized uh, for many years in teaching of uh, subjects like science, geography, history, and <clears throat> some teachers um, have also been doing project work in their language uh, lessons for a long time too. So uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I personally um, try to use uh, project works in my teaching uh, and uh, I know many other teachers who actively use uh, project works, uh, project works in their teaching as well. So um, I aim to talk about um, some of the benefits, uh, some of the benefits uh, of uh, using project work in ELT, and uh, I'll also talk about uh, some of the, let's say, difficulties, maybe worries that teachers use, teachers have before uh, implementing any project. Um, and I will also uh, talk about uh, some of the examples. I'll give you the example. Um, I'll try to demonstrate some of the examples of project work that uh, I use in my uh, teaching uh, English language. So um, the first question is here. I want to share my screen now. And I need 
Um, give me give me a second. So oh here is it. Oh uh, just a second. Okay, so I hope you can see my screen well. And just a second. So there is a question and um, can you please, um, if, um, if I can ask you to write your answers to the chart, uh, what is project work? Let's first uh, try to, to, to find out, let's try to share ideas. Uh, what project work, what is project work? Hello? Yes. So I have uh, one, um, let's say, idea here that project work students, when students work on one topic together and do research on that. Thank you. Yes, uh, please write your answers. Uh, just to put, okay, good. We have some, some answers now. I can see project work is a work related to a specific topic and can be done individually or in a team. Yes, uh, that's absolutely right. Thank you so much. Uh, Well-organized idea in written form, yes. I do agree, can be in written form, uh, can be um, uh, I have uh, another answer here, uh, researching any, from back to begin, researching any particular topic. Yes, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a kind of work which is done with a group. Oh, wow. You are so active that <laughs> I can with a group on particular topic. Yeah. Uh, thank you for writing, for sharing your ideas. In project work, students complete a task. Thank you, Togini Soyas. It is um, realizing your goals mm -hmm. from Navarias. Very good. Sebuni uh, Sor uh, from Facebook says project work is work which focuses on completing a task. Yes, um, thank you, yeah. Um, so when students are assigned, okay, just a second, are assigned the task to work on a specific topic, they may create some product, yeah. Project work is work which focuses on completing a task. Teenage learners were work on a project to develop a series of posters. Very good, yeah, it, it can be done in a form of a posters on how to protect the environment. Very good, yeah. One, uh, one of the project topics can be environment, how to protect environment and preparing posters. Thank you so much for your ideas. I think we now need to move on. So um, uh, thanks for everyone. And now um, I want to launch a poll and uh, there are several questions. And please uh, try to try to uh, try to try to answer to the questions. So, can I ask to share the poll, please? Um, can you see it? All right. Um, can you please uh, try to answer to some questions in the poll? Do you do project work with your students? So you just need to, to write yes or no. Oh, good. How often do you do them? Um, yeah, I have got um, some, some answers. Uh, hope uh, we'll get some other answers from other people here. So very good. Mm -hmm. So um, do you do project work with your students? This is the first question, yes, no. How often do you do them? And I have some options. And then 
how effective I think uh, we can now uh, maybe share the results. Thank you so much. So let's have a look. I'm so happy to see uh, yes to the first question. Do you do you do project work with your students? And most uh, about 83% of the participants here said yes, which is good. Uh, we've got 17% of, of people, participants saying no, but I hope after this webinar, <laughs> you will uh, start using a uh, project work. Uh, I hope my webinar will inspire you uh, and in your uh, classes, you will start using them. Uh, just breaking the wall of your classroom. <laughs> okay. And uh, the second is how often do you do them? Uh, we've got 17% always. 17% um, often, uh, very often, uh, more like right? 33 and hardly ever 33%. So I think it's, it's good because we have very often 33%, uh, which is, uh, well, we, we cannot use them every day. Yes, I understand. But um, as for me, I also use them very often in my classes. And uh, we also have a very hardly ever, and I would recommend people who said hardly ever to try to use them more in classes. How effective are they? And again, I'm so happy to see the result. 83% of the uh, participants said very effective and 17% not very effective. Uh, yes, it depends. Thank you so much. So now I think we can move on uh, to the slides where I want to, uh, where uh, I want to give you some, as I, I, I have already mentioned, uh, some ideas, uh, maybe uh, some examples, and you can also use them in your teaching. So uh, let's have a look at this second slide. So here I've got uh, what is project work, the definition, let's say, uh, most of you uh, already know what is it, but uh, let's, let's see. So by the way, that is a picture, uh, the picture that, that you can see uh, here is a, a, is a project done in the US. Uh, when I was in the US and I was uh, one of my assignment was to, uh, to to do a project with elementary students school with elementary students. Uh, and uh, for that reason, I uh, like I was taken to an elementary school and I we did a project work with the students there. So this is a picture of mine with the students US doing a project work. Uh, so project work is a work which focuses on completing a task. Many of you have mentioned that uh, project work normally involves a lot of resources, time, people and materials and learners practice a range of skills and language systems. So this is a short uh, definition for what is project work. And you also gave many other interesting ideas on what is uh, what project, what is project work. And so. Um, involves uh, a lot of resources time uh, i do agree um, people who have mentioned hardly ever need a lot of hard working both from teachers the teacher side and from the learners as well um, and uh, sometimes we teachers are not sometimes but most of the times we teachers are really busy and uh, with lots of work and uh, we cannot find time probably one of the reasons can be our business um, that's why we, we uh, lack time and to, to uh, think of uh, projects and, and implement projects in classes. In classroom, uh, project work may provide many opportunities to meet a variety of learning aims, but it requires strong classroom management skills. Um, so, uh, what I mean here by strong uh, classroom management skills, 
it is uh, it is not easy for teacher like when you do project there is a lot of noise and uh, uh, but i really like that noise and i call that noise working noise because it is a noise that uh, that produces some product at the end uh, of that uh, of that let's say noise so there is a product so I'm, I'm I'm really fine with the noise that is produced. There can be some problem with, uh, let's say, it, it requires strong classroom management skills. And uh, for that reason, I have it here. Learners need independence in planning and realizing the work, but they also need the teacher to act as a driver in ensuring it is carried out in a way that meets learning aims. Yeah. So, the teacher here uh, is as a facilitator and the teacher here is uh, described as a driver uh, just to make sure that everything is okay and that the students uh, along with the teacher are then able to get the outcome the, the product the aims of the learning uh, at the end um, and now uh, we can see here some advantages of uh, project work. Um, I, I mentioned at the very beginning that I will share some of the advantages, uh, some of the good things um, about project work. And uh, I have more, more, uh, when I was thinking about um, the um, advantages and the drawbacks of project work because every every let's say if we think about uh, teaching strategies activities every of them has their advantages and drawbacks as well disadvantages as well so here but but what is good uh, i came up with more advantages uh, than disadvantages so which means that it is worth to try and it is good uh, to sometimes um, use project, project work uh, in classroom to implement. Um, the, the very first point here is um, increased uh, motivation. Um, so these are some of the, this is one of the uh, advantage, one of the uh, positive, uh, let's say, aspect of project work. Um, the second one is uh, all four skills. What I meant here is all four skills are integrated. Uh, speaking, reading, um, listening, writing, everything is integrated while doing project work. Uh, and the term uh, uh, relearning, uh, students, students can um, learn uh, individually they can uh, because projects can be done individually as well as in teams or in groups uh, and there are learning outcomes this is the um, the most important thing when i mentioned when i said that there is a lot of noise usually but uh, that noise uh, leads to a, to a product which is there are learning outcomes so we have a product at the end and interpersonal relation uh, relations. Uh, in, uh, uh, let's say from my experience, what I have experienced is that uh, I will um, share one situation from my own experience. Uh, when I worked in uh, Aga Khan School, which is in Osh, Kyrgyzstan, uh, and I was uh, assigned as a class teacher of a group of students, who were who well who were who were very who who kind of there was a very big competition between these students and that competition the competition is good but in that particular situation the competition uh, let's say then uh, destroyed uh, their relationship with each other. So uh, then I started using uh, project work uh, when I was uh, investigating and doing some research. How can I, uh, how can I um, make my students uh, like? How can I develop their social skills? 
so this is actually one of the um, one of the reason this was one of the reasons i uh, started doing uh, project work and when doing work project work in groups in teams uh, they these interpersonal relations are developed through working as a group so as a group my students then were given different tasks in groups in teams and this helped them to become uh, let's say if i say nicer if i can say nicer and kinder to each other which developed their um, relationship which uh, then let's say led to very good relationship there are learning outcomes like we talked about it uh, learners often get help from parents this is another thing if you do uh, project work with you with teenagers for example uh, they uh, they sometimes involve their parents as well and i think it's good because um, many most of the time parents are busy and they they uh, kind of they don't have time to to, uh, to kind of to look at what kids are doing at school but when parents are involved uh, i think this can also um, benefit both uh, parents and kids as well teenagers as well and a break from routine i have a break from routine here because as I have already mentioned, we break the rules of the walls of the classroom. We uh, do something different, like we uh, do something which is different from uh, from what we do every day. So this is what I mean here. And now, uh, if you have any uh, addition, if you have any questions, I think you can uh, you can text. Uh, you can text. Okay, so if we move on to the next slide, here I only have, uh, you see, I, as I said, I have only three uh, possible drawbacks of project work. Learners using their own, own language. Well, yes, I do agree, uh, because um, learners, if I teach, we teach English, and in class, and our native language is Shukni, for instance. And it's really difficult to uh, stop students uh, using Shukni uh, because they think they cannot express ideas very well. So this is one of the drawbacks. Students start using their own language. Some learners doing nothing. It also happens when I give my students time in class if I'm doing any project in class, I do what is like what um, in the syllabus, I do uh, my everyday classes, but plus into what I do, uh, like doing my everyday classes, I need also to integrate my project to my classes as well. So in class, I usually give my students 15 minutes to just uh, uh, discuss their project. And when I ask them, I sometimes notice that some of the students do nothing. But again, you teacher, we teachers as facilitators, as uh, there was uh, written as uh, drivers, need to, to guide them, to help them, to ask them, to, to engage them, to give them tasks and engage them. Groups are working at different speed. This is also one of the drawback because sometimes some are ahead, some are behind. I think, but let, let's say, I think this is, this is normal. Um, this is normal because um, some people finish earlier, some are behind, uh, and uh, we can also, let's say, here help students uh, so that they can also complete their guide them facilitate them so that they can complete their assignments or projects on time um, and example so i want to share with you what i do in my class what i did so far some of the projects i do um, <clears throat> so one is um, a project based on readers um, I'm currently doing this uh, with my students. It's reading. It's uh, it's a, a, a kind of a reading club, or we can say book reading. 
where students are given, uh, for example, a week to five short stories, a book consists of five short stories, three short stories, and, and then uh, they do some, some work. So examples of work produced are and were in the past also summarize of the story. Um, well, while summarizing, we can use different strategies. Um, the, strategy, the strategy that I have used with this group of students is on the wall. I hope you see it. It's called book in hand. Uh, and there are questions like who, what, when, and students uh, work in groups and produce a poster where they um, tell us about them, uh, about that book. Uh, review of the books, some examples of the work, uh, information uh, found about the history of the book. We can, uh, I, I sometimes ask them, film scene from the book, uh, presentations of a clip from film of the book compared to a scene in the book. Very often we come, we come across this. Um, when I give my students book, they say we watch the film. So, and then we have, um, by the end of, for example, one of the units, we present a clip, we compare, we choose one, uh, uh, let's say scene from the film, compare it to the scene in the book. They compare, they investigate, and then they present. Um, biographies and photos of actors from the film. Um, and of course, presenting them. Again, this is poster, poster presentation. Uh, students uh, prepare posters, and then we have gallery work. Then students walk in class when we complete this project, and then they you know, look at each other's posters, they give feedback, they ask questions, and, um, and so on. And so okay. The other thing here is project. If, you, if your class loves songs, songs, this could be a motivating project. So I have some examples like what can we do? Invent the band and uh, the names and biographies of the band members, video and interview with the band, record a song. Students often uh, borrow the music and, and they wrote their own lyrics. Yeah, very often students wrote their own lyrics. By the way, photo shoot of the band also. By the way, the picture that you see here, here, uh, I recently I, I had a project with this uh, group of students where we talked about uh, weather, I think, in, in the, that unit. It was all about weather. And by the end of the unit, uh, they were given uh, an assignment to, to use the words, to, to create their own song, music, plus uh, also to create their own song. And uh, I have a, a short video of this. If this is a picture from that video, but if I can, I will try to share the video with you. I hope it will work. <laughs> Give me a second. I hope you see it. Okay, um, let's go back. Uh, so, 
uh, hope you see my screen now. Uh, so that was uh, just a short demonstration of the music project you can do. I hope you heard the, the video, uh, the, the, the words. I hope you, you, you got the words related to weather that I was talking about. So next, uh, next example, there can be passion projects. Um, projects can be done in poster, as we said, in poster format. The picture describes an example of fashion projects done with teenagers. Yes, I did this project with teenagers. Summarizes the material learned at the end of the unit. Students produce posters creating imaginary clothes suitable for each season. Uh, so here we've got four seasons and uh, four, uh, four seasons and uh, let's say, different clothes, uh, students come up with their own uh, clothing for, for four seasons. And again, at the end of the unit, uh, students present uh, them in different ways. Um, so this is another one. Uh, another example of a project work uh, that I did is uh, digital uh, storytelling. Here I've got just a few potential benefits of digital storytelling, which is uh, I think very appropriate now uh, in this uh, digitalized world now. So uh, collaboration, planning, technical skills, creativity, art, breaking down classroom walls, problem solving and technology, playing with technology. But for this project, students need to um, smartphones are, are okay if they have smartphone tablets, if you have, we, uh, they are okay. So students can download an app, which is Movie Maker, and then uh, they, um, they do it in class. Um, I have one, again, a short, uh, a short video of mine, which, is, which I use as a model for students. Be because before asking students to do something, we uh, need to give them examples. So I think, uh, and this one is, uh, uh, is the one that I made myself and I use it as a model for my students. So if I can play it, uh, I'm sorry if you cannot hear, but you will just be able to see how it goes. Okay, thank you. Uh, so um, this is the, um, the video that I wanted to share with you uh, that I use as a model for my students. Um, here I've got examples of project work. Um, uh, another one, which is research time. Uh, well, uh, here I, um, for example, uh, I called it research time because I asked my students to do some research. Here I uh, uh, provided my students with some instructions uh, and uh, I, here I paste those instructions that, pasted those instructions that I gave to my students. So we again did a unit where there was a lot about crime and punishment. And uh, I asked my students to choose uh, the famous criminal and to uh, present um, criminal and do some research and then uh, present them in class again, poster presentation. And these were some of the instructions. This is the instruction plus uh, some requirements for that presentation. I don't have a picture here. And another project which our teacher Donistar does very often, I like it and I wanted to share with you as well. 
Uh, Donista is also an English language teacher at SPCE. You can see he, her here with her students, which is called conference. Uh, well, we teach, um, let's say, listening and speaking uh, those academic models. And I think she did it at the end of the of her uh, of her model. So uh, what she does is um, students choose one country and represent uh, that country as its ambassador. Then the four topics are then chosen related to the units covered in class. Of, of, of course, they are covered in class. Students investigate then to class and discussion questions are then proposed and suggestions are then expressed. So uh, this is a, a very good project where students, uh, our students are very excited because I saw them uh, every time she does it. Uh, I myself uh, didn't do, didn't try this project, but I will also try it um, in future. Uh, I see uh, students uh, when they have presentation time, they are very excited. They come very dr dressed very smartly and so excited about this and then they take a lot of pictures and uh, so it means that it increases their motivation to study. Uh, I think that's it. I have other examples of other project work that you can do, for example, video exchange program projects or a class magazine, service interviews, newspaper projects, uh, filmmaking projects, and joint movie projects. So, and many, many other projects. Well, if you, and now you, this uh, webinar, you are interested, you can um, Google and you can do some research and you will come across loads of other projects, very interesting project work that you can uh, implement in your classes. And I'm sure they will increase your students' motivation and your students will um, be very excited uh, to, to, you know, to come to your classes. Um, so my presentation ends here. And now, uh, if we have any questions, um, thank you for being with me for being with us all and if you have any questions uh, we will talk about your questions uh, thank you very much mara both such a for a such wonderful presentation uh, it gives a wide variety of activities that you usually use for your project uh, work and it gives like a, a huge idea of, also for our teachers how to better implement project work and how to better engage students in those projects. And uh, by you. being aware of the uh, some disadvantages that it may also involve. So uh, the participants, uh, yes, you can ask your questions, put your questions in the chat box. So uh, we'll just pass them over to Mar Marabo. Marabo and I have a question. So how long should run this project work uh, in a classroom? Uh, or it depends on the level of student, or it may be just, you know, uh, uh, maybe different based on the project task. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for your question. Um, it depends. You you have already mentioned that it depends because uh, I do. There are projects that students produce um, by the end uh, of the module. For example, if the module um, lasts for two months or two one and a half, uh, they are, they are. It depends on your requirement. Like what requirements do you have for each of the projects you do? Uh, sometimes, sometimes it they end at the end of that module you teach. Sometimes after each unit. Sometimes you have you can have them or you can have them. Let's let's say if I do a a course for four weeks, I have uh, I uh, ask my students to do two projects like one in the middle and the other one at the end. And also, also, it depends on the level you teach, what level of students do you teach, of course. Uh, the question here also, I hope I answered to your question. 
Yeah, yes. Thank, yeah, you, yes. thank you very much. Uh, I had the question here, uh, what was the last uh, project? Uh, yeah, Mauluda is asking, what was the last project that you did with your class? Yeah, uh, I think I saw that a question about um, uh, what was the last project. The, la the one that I'm doing currently is the book. Um, is the book, uh, let's say, readers. Uh, so uh, this is, I'm doing it currently. Um, those, the, the ones that, examples that I show to you, I have uh, d d displayed are actually recently finished, all recently finished projects. Yeah. Uh, there was another question. Yeah, so um, thank you, Marhabo. Uh, the project that you work, you might work with the, the class that the time is like 90 minutes or 100, but there's a question. What about the class where they have like 45 minutes? Um, uh, how, how feasible well, is that? For, 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 for class where there are 40, 45 45 minutes, yeah. With 45 mm -hmm. minute classes, how feasible is it to do the project work? Uh, in well, you you don't produce like when you do project, uh, you need to give time for your students. For example, you won't be uh, you won't be able to do it in uh, just in forty five minutes. Uh, you will give your students, let's say, a week. It depends what kind of project you do. But for instance, if you want your students to do a project for for example for one week time, you give them one week. You have your classes uh, maybe every day in a week, maybe two times, maybe three times in a week. And in each of the classes, you give students 10 minutes in class just to monitor, just to see what uh, are they working? What are they doing? Um, just to, and the other work, they, most of the work they do out, out of the classroom. Like in class, you teach your class, but, but uh, just to make sure students are working on their projects as well, you give them some time in class mm -hmm. as well, about 10 to 15 minutes just to see what is going on. Are they working, not working? Right, but what about the presentation time? Uh, they presented during the class, right? And uh, how much time is uh, each group given to present their project? Again, uh, again, uh, again, it depends on what kind of project you do. But if I do poster presentations, for example, with my students, uh, they have five minutes, five to seven minutes to present their posters. Or if I see, I, for example, I don't have enough time, we, I choose a strategy. So um, I do just a gallery, as I have already mentioned, a gallery work where students uh, stick their posters and uh, they walk around uh, reading. Nobody is presenting them. They just go around, read, and, uh, and see the result of each team or each group, what people did. And so... Again, okay. uh, um, this right. was from my yeah. experience. No, you're right. Thank you, Marabo. And we have a question from Nazira. She's asking for some tips. Uh, what makes our project interesting? Uh, you might have uh, given us some ideas, but um, yeah, what do you think? For what? tips for making our project interesting. Okay. It is, um, let's say, um, how to make it interesting. Well, you, uh, um, let's say, uh, again, uh, the teacher is the, is the driver. Mm -hmm. And uh, from my own experience, when <clears throat> I see my students are not interested, uh, I try to, um, from my own experience, I try to uh, motivate them, trying to show them, um, because they're, they're not all of the students are like, not all are, for most of the students, from my experience, most of the students like project work that I did. 
But I sometimes have students who do not uh, like doing project works. For them, it is not interesting. I always refer to the previous work done, to previous projects done, and I give them examples. And I try to uh, try to um, to tell them the good sides of uh, doing project work so that they are involved. To then when I see a little progress, then I see them doing something, I praise them. I motivate them by praising, saying, well, like, like teachers know uh, like what to say and to motivate them to complete their work. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. I sometimes think... <clears throat> what I do, I even ask uh, if I, I if I, I saw a student making a little, let's say, is uh, a little progress and uh, showing his interest, I ask all the class to clap for him. <laughs> this is one of yeah. the <laughs> easy Motivating. Thing, like, simplest yeah. things to motivate. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think as a teacher, we know yeah our students' interest and we, we try to tie their interest into the project work, right? And, so it's, that and it's also, it also depends on the teacher. If the teacher is very much excited and inspired, she can transfer this to her students as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marhabo. And we have a question from Sino asking, can we use this project with starter level uh, learners? I lost you. Ah uh, yeah, Sino, Sino is asking uh, if we can use uh, project work with starter level learners. I, I think yes. Why not? Because there are there are different topics for um, they are appropriate for starter level learner students. I think uh, why not? Yeah, we need to try. Well, yeah, everything uh, we need we need to try. Like for the first time, of course, we'll have difficulties but we need to mm -hmm. stop we don't need well like we we need to try things to implement and i think for starter level students the the, the book that sino teaches is appropriate for that level so i'm sure that he will uh, find something to to uh, a project come up with a project to to do with starter level students as well it is mm -hmm. possible yeah, and uh, the question from Alohat, uh, I think uh, feedback is very important, yes, at the end of the pro uh, project work. Uh, mm -hmm. What was students' feedback after they finished their project work? I mean, from your experience, how wow. do you get students' feedback? You know, do they just say I, it after they I... finish the project? Or what was their feedback and how do you get students' feedback? like how do i get from them or i give them feedback no 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 I... their feedback after how they find the project ah, well, well by the way yeah uh, a project that i did uh, um unfortunately i didn't have uh, uh, those uh, photos because i don't have my my laptop with me i wanted to share with you as well but but um this question um, it's a very good question, by the way. Thank you. Uh, the project that I did with a group of students was called Food Project, where we had, uh, after we finished the project, we had interviewing with the students, where we discussed, uh, uh, where we kind of the students uh, expressed their opinion about that project. And I can't say all of them because I cannot say most of them because all of them were really uh, positive and they expressed uh, their, uh, they, 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 they said that they found that uh, project really interesting because they have learned a lot of things. Uh, mm -hmm. they developed their creativity like they thought it is impossible when I asked them to to uh, make up a song with no shukhfa, like it was about food and no shukhfa is our uh, traditional um, food so when at the beginning they said it, it is teacher it is impossible how can I how can I make a poem uh, in English uh, with uh, with no shukhfa? But but I I asked them to try and and by the end we we got a very very interesting and funny song mm -hmm. 
created by students and they presented it to class and we liked it so much. So then they said, teacher, we said it's impossible, but it was possible for us. Uh, we, we could, we could mm -hmm. uh, invent that poem. Yeah. Thank you, Marhabu. And there's a question like, except besides speaking skills, right? What are the skills students improve when they do when they're involved in the project work? Uh, uh, speaking, I at the very beginning I said that it integrates well. One of the um, one of the advantages, one of the positive aspects of project work is uh, is that it integrates all four skills. Uh, reading, uh, they do so that they complete their project. They 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 must do some reading um, because or uh, they need information. So it will uh, for sure develop their vocabulary. When they read, they will come across words they don't know. So they will then translate those words into their native language. So reading, uh, listening, they will listen. If they will probably listen to some videos, they will listen to each other in English and it can also uh, improve their listening skills. Uh, writing, mm -hmm. they will have to produce something to write. And uh, I, I think it can also um, develop, enhance their writing skills yeah. as well. Absolutely, yeah. These are all the skills integrated, as you mentioned. Uh, Zebuniso is asking if you can share the challenges that you have faced, uh, you know, during uh, this project work with your students. Yes, of course. Uh, the challenges that I had in my slide well, were, uh, uh, were those challenges that I experienced in, my, uh, in, my, in implementing project work. Um, the, the one that I always have, uh, the one challenge that I always have, it is speaking Shugni. Uh, I can't stop. Uh, it's really hard. Well, I can't stop them, but it's really hard to stop my students. Um, to they get very excited, right? Shugni, yeah, they uh, they get excited and then they change to they switch to Shugni all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I then think for some other uh, strategies uh, strategies that I can do. There sometimes I choose one person who they don't know. Uh, she is observing them and she is uh, observing who speaks Shugni then we punish them somehow. <laughs> so we think of different tricks and strategies to mm -hmm. deal with this problem as well. This is one of the major problems I have very often mm -hmm. in doing uh, project work. Project work. Yeah. So we have a comment from Tojiniso who is saying that project work is, a gr is great for group cohesiveness as well. Students work together and learn very important teamwork skills that may help them in the future. I think Marabo mentioned that, right? Like building relationship and learning, learning how to work with their group mates, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do agree. Yeah, absolutely agree. Yeah, and Marabo, uh, I'm really interested in uh, about the assessment part. How do you assess, you know, student like it's group work and then you really don't know who uh, contributed how much? How about, yeah, this assessment, yes. you know, process? This is one of the, this is, this is actually, excuse me, this is actually one of the hardest part mm -hmm. <laughs> of uh, project work. Uh, what I do again, I, I will again repeat uh, the thing that it is, it depends uh, what kind of project you do, but you need to come up with criteria for, for that. Uh, what I usually do from my own experience, I give uh, the criteria before the criteria before to the students, uh, before the project work, before I uh, assign any project to my students, I um, create or sometimes we have ready criteria, like if we uh, do some research, if we Google, for example, we can find criteria where uh, based on those criteria, like I evaluate my students, I, I can have their like communication using English or 
if I do a particular unit, for example, unit three vocabulary, I have their words, vocabulary used from unit three, like how many vocabulary, how many words uh, the students use uh, from that unit. So I develop criteria for students and I evaluate them. Sometimes I ask other participants, when a group of students uh, are presenting their product to the class, the other students help me. They help me to evaluate uh, each other. So uh, then I provide them with those uh, rubrics and then they uh, evaluate and I together then we compare and we give feedback. All right, thank you very much, uh, Marhabo. I think you provided really, really nice ideas. Uh, I've learned a lot of like, um, like right project work I didn't know before. Thank you very much. That was really inspirational. And I think those students who said that they hardly ever use the, or do the project work, they will start doing it now. Thank you very much. I hope, um, uh, I hope. Yeah, thank you for giving for giving me an opportunity to share what I do in my class with other teachers and I strongly recommend uh, teachers to sometimes break the rules, uh, rules of the classroom and do some some very exciting and interesting things with students. Thank you so much Gulnuru and Nasiba. What you to talk to you. Uh, thank you once again. A big thank you to my Marhabo, and uh, yeah, I, I, I wish you, you will be able to see all of us clapping to you. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, dear participants, dear followers on Facebook and on Zoom, so uh, thanks again for your active participation and uh, for asking questions. Uh, thank you for joining uh, today's webinar.